Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my monthly favorites for the month of May. Now, I have a lot of things today. I do have a combination of makeup, skincare, self tanner, and hair care. So I have a lot of products for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so let's get into it. As most of you guys know by now, I did get married in the month of May and I was traveling because I did have a destination wedding. So um, I don't have like a lot, a lot of makeup favorites, but I do have a lot of favorites in general. I just wasn't able to try out a bunch of stuff, but um, let's just get started. So I guess we could start out with my self tanner this is definitely a new favorite so it is this one it is a fairly new product this is the isle of paradise um, self tanning butter with color correcting actives to even skin tone now i don't self tan my whole body but my chest and my neck take a lot longer to tan so usually like my body will be dark but then my neck and chest won't which means i have to match my face to my neck so a lot of the times right here I'm just a lot lighter than the rest of my body so I mainly self tan from like here up not my face though just literally like this much and then sometimes like my stomach so just keep that in mind like I just um, I don't do like the whole body routine I like a lot of products that are gradual tanners and I actually got this in PR so on the website this is described as a richer version of a body moisturizer with a gradual self tanner and I really enjoy it because it smells really really nice it almost smells like a very light cologne it applies just like a thick moisturizer and a little bit goes a long way because it is a butter so it's very thick I put the tiniest amount on my hands I rub it like right out of the shower on my chest a little bit on my shoulders up to my neck and it is gradual so it takes four to six hours to develop the tan but I have noticed that after six hours it just gets a little bit tanner as well and this is the color that I get if you're wondering um, what this tan is is uh, right now I'm wearing the rare beauty uh, foundation in the shade 320 W so this is about as tan as I get I don't know if that's helpful or not but that's what I'm wearing on my face right now but um, I really like it because it's easy it's quick it's gradual I've never had like a splotchy mess the only thing I will say is that it does smell really really good but over time as a tan develops you do start smelling that tan smell I don't mind it. I don't think it's like a disgusting smell. If anything, I'm, I'm like, you know, I feel like I'm marinating, but um, it does start, you know, it does start to smell a little bit like it, but I like it because you don't have to rinse it off. So um, if I need to be tan by the afternoon, I'll just put it on in the morning and go about my day and then I'm tan. So I really like this. Check it out if you're interested, but yeah, it's been really nice. Okay, moving on to some skincare. I've been really, really enjoying this. So this is the Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil with Coconut and Argan Oils. As you can see, I have used quite a bit of it and I will say a little bit goes a long way. So I've had it for actually a couple months now. Um, I am a very big fan of a cleansing balm, but there's something about an oil that is just quicker. It breaks down the mascara and makeup a lot quicker than with a balm, in my opinion. So I actually still use a balm. I like to travel with a balm. I don't really like to travel with an oil because it gets kind of oily. But when I'm home, um, this is what I've been using and I like it. It keeps my face um, hydrated for my double cleanse because I do take my makeup off with this and then I actually use a cleanse. Um, you could just put this on and take off your makeup with like a wipe or a towel I just put it on and then I like wash it off and then I go in with my cleanser and it works really really nice it is more of like a liquidy oil so it's not like too heavy and it hasn't made me break out clog my pores anything like that and it's just really easy to use and it's a drugstore and it smells good. So if you're looking for a new affordable um, oil cleanser, this is great. Okay, so another product that I've been loving. Now this, there's a lot of ways you could buy this. This is a scalp massager. I guess um, I use it in the shower they're very affordable on Amazon I can link this exact one it actually came in a two-pack I just want to say that uh, my scalp game has changed ever since I started shampooing twice and using this so 
Um, this is advice really to anyone, whether you have oily scalp or like me, I actually have psoriasis on my scalp, so I have a very dry scalp. And also maybe people that have dandruff or people that just use a lot of hair product, especially a lot of dry shampoo. Um, I really, really suggest you shampoo twice. I only add shampoo to my roots. I don't actually shampoo all of my hair, but you have to shampoo twice because the first layer of shampoo is gonna take off the product. And then if you shampoo again, it'll really, really clean your scalp. And now if you use this both times that you're cleaning your scalp, it really gets everything out, like everything, like your hair will never feel cleaner. And also because of the massagers, um, it actually helps with circulation with your scalp, which also promotes hair growth. But if you notice that you have a lot of buildup on your scalp that you can't really clean your scalp, or if you do have psoriasis or a dry scalp and you really want something to get it out, this has been a lifesaver with double shampooing. Okay, and then the last product I have that is from the bathroom is actually a toothpaste. So this was a random find. I'm not sure uh, if they sell this exact one, but I will link something similar if I don't find it. I went to a holistic uh, health store and Wyatt and I actually found this Magic Mud Holistic Blend Whitening Tooth Powder um, Charcoal. It's essentially a charcoal powder. It's a charcoal powder with a little spoon and it's technically a toothpaste. I still brush my teeth with a regular toothpaste, but then I brush it with this for its whitening properties, and it works, and it's natural, and it doesn't give sensitivity. I get a lot of questions about my teeth, about how I keep them so white, so let me just give a full disclosure. I did use Crest whitening strips years ago, and they work really, really well, but now um, I just can't handle it. It's too sensitive on my teeth, so I can't use that anymore. Almost um, like, Eight months ago, I did get my teeth professionally whitened, so I did do that, but um, I always try to find new ways to whiten teeth that don't like hurt, and this is really nice. It has worked both for me and my husband. It's a little bit messy. It does kind of get everywhere, so I tend to use this more in the shower just so that once the charcoal comes out of my mouth, it just washes away, but it actually works really well and there's no sensitivity. So if you've just been looking for a natural, holistic, or just a way to whiten your teeth without it hurting, um, charcoal powder is the way to go. Moving right along, let's talk about a product that I actually think is really nice and I don't think it's getting the hype that I thought it would get. Um, it is this little product right here. So this is the Maybelline Green Edition Tinted Oil. So it's a tinted oil and I feel like these are very popular with mainly high-end brands, but this is a drugstore price. I mean, it's like a high drugstore price, but still a drugstore price and it's really nice. I don't love super, super oily, oily, tinted oils, if that makes sense. I don't like it when they get super greasy, but I do appreciate a sheer uh, tinted oil with hydration that looks nice and wears nice, and this is definitely it. So I have the shade um, 040, which I'm actually not wearing right now because it is a little bit light for me, but before I did self-tanner, this was like perfect for me. Um, and it's just really nice. It's gonna give you about a light to medium coverage, but like I said, it's not gonna be like super greasy. It is still an oil, of course, but I set it with a powder and it wears nicely. So if you guys haven't tried it, I say give it a try if you're into tinted oils. This is a good way to try one without spending so much money, and it does come with a little dropper. So um, you could also just put this in your foundation if you wanna make it more hydrating or dewy. Okay, so let's move on to a blush that I've been loving. Most of you guys know that I love the Benefit Benetint. Um, I actually use them on my wedding day. I use them almost every day. Um, it, they really last a really long time on the skin, whether it's on bare skin or makeup. And um, I'm not sure if this is a new shade or if this is just new to me, but I've been loving the Bennett Tint in the shade Love Tint. This is such a pretty shade, and honestly, this to me is the most pigmented one out of them. Like, Literally just one dot will blend out for like your whole cheek. Let me see if I can do it for you guys. And see how it's like a hot 
pink shade. It's so pretty. It looks really, really pretty on the lips. It looks really pretty on the cheeks. It looks pretty on bare skin and also on top of makeup. I'm not wearing it today because I did try out a different blush today, but um, if you're just looking for a very lightweight liquid blush that lasts a really long time, Try out these like tints, but um, if you want like the most uh, hot pink one that has the most pigment, try this one. It's really, really nice. Let's talk about my lip combo right now. So right now I am wearing the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Downtown Beauty. It is definitely like a darker uh, brown, but my favorite of the month is actually the glosses. So um, you guys probably saw me in my second to last video trying out Fawn Beauty. This is a small women owned business and um, uh, Fawn Beauty was nice enough to send me a bunch of their products to try out and I've been loving them. Um, this is my go-to shade right now. It is called A Staple and it is a brownie nude. Obviously I do have a pretty dark lip liner on so it turned kind of dark but this is like the true shade of it. They have a lot of really beautiful shades and toppers. And what I love the most is the formula. It's actually very interesting because it's a very thin formula. Like it doesn't feel goopy or thick, but it is hydrating. I believe they're serums. They call them serum glosses. They do have shea butter, castor oil, and apricot oil as well. They have really nice ingredients. They feel really good. They look really good. They last a long time, and um, they have really beautiful shades. I also love the oil. Of course, I don't have it. Um, I've been obsessed with their um, oil, but it's actually in my purse downstairs because I have been keeping it on hand. You guys know I have like the driest lips ever, but they have something called their Recovery Glow Lip Oil. I'll show you guys a picture right here. Um, this is super, super nice. So this one actually has Camilla seed oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, and coconut oil. And it also isn't like a really pretty sheer pinky shade. They do have other shades, I believe. And like, why not support a small women owned business? Come on guys. Really, really pretty and they smell really nice. Moving right along, we have three more products and they're all makeup. So first, let's talk about these lashes that I've been getting so many compliments on. So these are the Kiss Lashes in the style Ruffle. I'm not wearing them today. These are my actual lashes today. As you can see, I've only worn one pair, but I've worn them like five times already. When I posted this TikTok, uh, a lot of you guys were asking me about the lashes. Well, they're the Kiss Ruffle Lashes. I heard about these on TikTok. I believe Makeup by Ariel used them on Kim Kardashian and they're just really nice they're really nice on their own they're also really nice as half lashes and like I said I have been wearing them and I've been getting compliments on social media as well as in person and the lash band is thin so you don't really feel them but you can re-wear them so I really like them um, they're very affordable and they give you a really good effect for a fraction of the price. Let's talk about mascaras. This is actually the mascara I'm wearing today. Keep in mind, I do use an eyelash serum. Um, mascaras don't perform miracles half the time, so I do like to link the eyelash serum that I use in my description every single time, but I've just been loving this. So this is the Milani Mascara. It is called the High Rated Anti-Gravity Mascara. This is just so nice. Um, it looks kind of basic at first. It's just a rubber spiky wand with an hourglass shape, but the spikies are not that that long they're like a good medium length so it does provide length separation as well as volume sometimes when the spikies are too long it doesn't provide volume and sometimes when they're too short it doesn't provide separation so this is just like a really good um, wand that kind of does it all for you and also the formula is just really nice so I've been really really enjoying it I do curl my lashes with an eyelash curler but if you guys haven't tried this mascara give it a shot I really think that this is a good like universal universally flattering mascara and it's affordable and it has cute packaging. Oh, you know what? I lied. I have two more products. Um, I wanted to give a quick shout out to this little guy. I actually bought this for my wedding because I did do my own makeup and I don't really own a lot of like true contour shades. So I bought this from the Sephora collection. It's called the uh, Colorful Contour in the shade First Touch. It is truly a shadow. I don't contour very much. I do like to bronze a lot to give my face um, warmth as well as structure. But for my wedding or really for any glam days, I wanted something that will truly create a shadow. I'm not wearing it today, but maybe I could show you guys. This is going to chisel out really anywhere that you put it. So 
So I really like it because I wanted to find a way to contour um, that looked maybe like a little bit more natural. Also, another trick that I saw on TikTok is to put your contour right down the neck right here and it'll make your neck look a little bit slimmer. Let me just show you guys like literally what I did on my wedding. Also like try to like flex your neck and then find these little spots and add more shadow on them and see how it's like creating like bone structure that I don't really have. I mean, guys, fake it till you make it. Um, this is really nice. So, and it is pretty affordable. It's under $20. I believe it's under $15 and a little bit goes a long way and it's really nice. Let me give myself a little jawline while we're here. Mm. Alrighty guys, and the last product that I have for you guys, um, I really, really, really like. I get the hype. Um, I'm so sorry that I'm going to say the word wedding 50 times, but for my wedding, um, I started trying out like more glamorous setting powders like more cakey powders that like will give you more. And so I ended up really loving the Huda Beauty, um, what is this called? Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder. Um, this is really nice. It is really flawless, but for someone like me with normal to dry skin, it does get a little bit crepey under the eyes. But what I've learned is that I could put as much powder as I want on my face, and then once I hit it with this, it melts together and it ends up looking almost like a little dewy, but then I add a little bit of powder on top just to kind of like set it, and this will just bring your makeup back to life, whether it looks dry, whether it's like very powdery. And not only does it bring it back to life, but it really does grip it onto your skin. So I really enjoy this. As you can see, this is a small size. And I mean, I've only used this much because I only use it uh, really when I think I need it or for special occasions. But I will say um, it is so like, I don't know hydrating and gripping that a little bit goes a long way like just make sure you go away from your face give it like two or three spritz and it works really really nice so i get the hype for this setting spray for sure alrighty guys and that is the end of the video i hope that you guys enjoyed my monthly favorites let me know what you guys think down below have you guys tried any of these products are any of these your favorites let me know i love you guys so much thanks for another amazing month here on youtube and i will just see you guys in my next video bye